Hi guys, this video is about how to improve your internet connection if you have problems with um, package loss, latency variation, high latency, those things. I had this while playing uh, Rocket League and yeah, it was a real pain because it caused a lot of troubles, especially when you want to play on a ranked server, it's al almost impossible. You can play a little bit uh, yeah, for fun, but definitely not on ranked servers and it has also impact on a lot of other games. So what can you do? I mean, on some of the games like Rocket League, they show you this on the screen, something like uh, which you see here. These are these uh, icons here. They will be displayed on the screen when you have this. And I had this very often. Some other games don't show it uh, or they have less problems with that. So it depends a little bit on the game. So there are not many softwares which are able to detect or monitor such uh, things like latency and package loss. Here you have th something ping monitor. There are other uh, programs around. Uh, yeah, I'm not I haven't been uh, going uh, too much into that. I was just looking actually for a solution and there is a program which uh, yeah, like uh, they have a solution or they say they have a solution that the uh, Speedify, uh, the, con uh, the company is the same as the Connectify. They have been uh, becoming famous with the Connectify and now they have also this Speedify and they, yeah, here when we go to this website i will copy that and put down the link to this website into the description so you can click on that and yeah i'm not affiliated with that i don't make any money on that i just want to help you uh, if you have same problem as i so yeah here's some description about that what you can do and of course they have their own solution fixing packet loss with speedify then they show nice graphics and so on and yeah so you can download this thing uh, for apple android and also for desktop can't remember where i have found the download yeah so here we have it actually it's easy it's just not not too large and it's easy easy uh, download and when you install you get a new uh, like a program yeah of course so when you um then start this program i mean it will look like it will put something like that on your desktop and you double click and it will start up and you will see then something like that and uh, if you have two gray buttons here, you have to click on one, at least one of them and to connect to a Wi-Fi uh, thing. I mean, yeah. So here I am. You, you see that I'm connected here. If you are not connected, of course, you have to connect. I mean, usually it works with this thing here. So here we have the Internet access. Sometimes it looks a little bit different. Now it looks like uh, uh, Ethernet uh, sometimes it looks like Wi-Fi. I don't know why it, it, it's always changing. So you click on that and you have to connect to whatever uh, Wi-Fi you want to connect. And then it should be displayed at least in one of these gray buttons. So to uh, enable or disable this BDFI that's here. I mean, when it's disabled, it does nothing. And then you can enable and sometimes uh, I had it when I was starting it and I wanted to click on this button. It's, uh, it, I couldn't connect and it still bro it brought up a message that I have to like o open an account or whatsoever. I mean, actually you can do it for free. Uh, there is five gigabytes which lasts for quite some time. You can pr probably game for a couple of hours or even days depending on the games. Uh, so you can really try if this really works for you and you can just uh, sign for a free account. I don't know why it's not showing these options. Yeah, anyway, so usually 
it's uh, giving you when you click on that it's giving you the option to play with the uh, free account so use that as long as you are not on 100% here and the thing is sometimes it still uh, rejects the uh, or it, it, yeah you can't uh, turn on this and then you have to also go to this button here and select something just I mean I was usually on the fastest server and re it, it rejected so like this do you see that so that's strange and, and i couldn't turn it on so i went here and instead of fastest server i went something else us canada or whatsoever now i'm able to go back to fa fastest server yeah and always uh yeah the thing to go to quit the menu is here the x it's a little bit strange so yeah anyway uh, if you can't log in, if you can, can't turn this thing on, click on both of these buttons here, click uh, f select free and here uh, select just some servers. Yeah, here um, the thing is, yeah, now it works. I mean, it's turned on and it should improve uh, the, uh, yeah, like the, uh, <laughs> the connection, of course. Uh, here you can see the uh, usage and here we can see connection quality latency and loss so you should be with something like that you should be able to play now better according to the website and i've tested that and it was horrible so it didn't work i mean it was even worse than the original so just with one uh, connection uh, it, it seems that it's totally not working. Maybe I configured something wrong. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know why it really should improve the whole thing. I mean, they say they capture the package loss before a program would capture or detect the, cap the package loss. And so they can uh, ask for a new package before. And so that should actually improved the whole situation but it definitely did not it was it got really 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 worse so it was re definitely horrible so with one if you ha really have just one line uh, or one option to connect to the internet it I, I mean i would say it it's not worth it i mean you can try it free but usually it's not even worth the download and the time to invest but uh you can do something you can go to amazon and for about between something between like 12 13 or 20 dollars depending on the quality you can buy such a usb adapter some are even yeah you can even get some for like a, a, a eight dollars but you have to make sure i mean if you're using something like that probably it doesn't have a really l a wide array i mean a, like a, a good reception if you need good reception good antenna then you maybe have to spend a little bit more maybe 15 dollars maybe 20 dollars something like that so yeah but this will give you an additional connection but of course to usually to the same router because you usually have just one router and sometimes people think yeah can it really improve uh, the whole connection when you just make double connection to the same router which maybe is faulty yeah i mean it can yeah so so in my case it somehow did but let's continue and show how this works so if you order this uh, such a device you just plug it in like in my situation uh you just watch the screen i'll do that i plug it in now and you will see what happens I hope it will happen yeah okay now you see uh, here I have also my second connection on even when it shows uh, the same Wi-Fi there are really two physical connections now which helps to improve or to stabilize the whole thing if you plug your um, yeah the your new USB Wi-Fi stick in and it doesn't uh, convert your gray icon here into a red one then you have to go to your Wi-Fi settings which is here and then you click on that I mean the first one which is called Wi-Fi in my case that's the left one here and I selected the WoW 5G so it's actually not displaying the right thing but I don't care I mean uh yeah i don't know maybe that's an error here or i don't know what, what it is but i mean you see i'm here on the uh, on the wow 5g and here on the second one 
uh, you have to to assign a Wi-Fi to the second one you have to go to the Wi-Fi number two and then select one of these as well so because I was already connected it connected automatically if you haven't connected it will look like this and then you probably will do something like automatic connect and then connect and they will see that it will connect here and it should improve the uh, whole situation so here we get uh, of course now with the second wi-fi we get a little bit other image here and it shows how much uh, data from here it was used and how much uh, from the second Wi-Fi it was used. It's important if you are using like, I mean, you can use the Wi-Fi from your phone if you have uh, like, uh, yeah, if you have a lot of gigabytes like uh, unlimited or at least 50 gigabytes or I don't know how many, how much you have. If you just have five gigabytes or so, you have to be careful because after a weekend, maybe even if you use it on a, on a second Wi-Fi, maybe it could be used up. I don't know. I mean, depending on the quality and I mean probably it will have we will use this as uh, the uh, Wi-Fi number one and this as two I mean you can even configure when you click on that you can configure how much it will use the first one you can put uh, limits uh, rate limits monthly limits and then you can do the same thing with the second one so you can configure it a little bit if you have one cheaper connection and one more expensive connection like with a with a phone so yeah this is actually what you need to set up and uh, i mean by the way you get here when you click on uh hold on a second as long as there is uh, the as you see the gray buttons here or hold on a second you can also do it here i think with the question mark yeah when you click on the question mark they will bring you to this website and they show you how you can add additional uh, connections to your pc and you will see there are so many other possibilities to uh, how you can add uh yeah additional uh connections so you have can have two times ethernet you can have two times wi-fi you can you can uh yeah connect i mean combine almost everything which is imaginable i mean that's really good and you at the end of the day you have to find out what really works for you so to be honest for me it didn't improve the whole thing much i mean uh, to stay fair, I was able to get rid of most of these annoying messages. So no more messages like package loss, latency variation, high latency and so on. But my general ping went up from about 50 to about 100. I mean that means it was permanently at about 100 and as you, when you're playing a lot of games you know that it's really hard to play games with a ping of 100 you have all all the time a little bit the impression that you are lagging behind and sometimes you really miss whatever you want to hit or yeah yeah it's it, it, it's a pain so i i mean i did it uh, for a couple of times with or and without the speedify without the speedify i mean now i have a good connection again and i just tried to see it i mean uh, to to see how it works i mean i had once the a really bad connection and then i started speedify and it improved really the so uh it it then uh got me rid of these error messages but it, still i had the ping of around 100 which was yeah it's it's hard to say if it was really good playable at least i mean it was a little bit better than without but not so much but uh if you have a good connection like uh i would say i mean not a premium but like like let's like say a good connection with about a ping of 50 and you add a second connection with speedify and it will go up to 100 ping even with, with if you, your route and everything works good it, it, it will go up to about 100 just uh, by using speedify uh, strange name huh, for speedify when, when your ping goes up by 100 percent but anyway 
it is not so good to play it is it, i mean you can really feel that it's a really big disadvantage to play with 100 ping compared to 50 ping so if you really don't if you don't really need it so um yeah don't use it uh definitely so but sometimes when you have a really bad connection i think there's a possibility to really work with that uh, I mean, I I was just using two times the Wi-Fi, which probably doesn't improve too much. If you can use other connections like one, if you have really, uh, yeah, I don't know, if you can share the one from the neighbor, if, <laughs> if they're allowed to use that, or uh, if you can use uh, one from a mobile, your mobile phone or other mobile hot, hotspot, or at least go to Ethernet, use once the Ethernet, once Wi-Fi and su such things. So sometimes you it, it can really improve, but overall I have uh, not only experienced this with me, but also heard from other people that the ping really went up. I think there's almost no, no possibility to prevent that ping will go up, but at least uh, it will prevent from many uh, like package loss and latency problems. So as you can see, yeah, that, that, that was my normal ping now. And when I went to Speedify, it went up to about 100. Yeah, here again, 100. So yeah, uh, I mean, my experience so is a little bit mixed. It looks like there is not much um, regarding alternate uh, products when it comes to uh, package loss and latency problems. I mean, of course, it's always a good th thing to work with your internet service provider if they really have a problem. I mean, it could be really a problem with the internet service provider. Maybe they have problems on their own lines, uh, maybe something outside, something on their servers, on their routers, whatsoever. If you really think it's something from your uh, internet service provider, yeah, maybe ask them to check the line. Uh, maybe it helps if you have uh, yeah if they come and check everything and say everything is good then of course uh, you have to check inside sometimes it's just because you have some other uh, equipment which is not good or maybe also almost too much I mean when you have like 50 devices uh, connected to your router it can definitely slow down uh everything you have to maybe try then with adding an additional router and co connect many of these uh like equipments then to this router and then connect only this router to the isp router hope you know what i mean uh, that can definitely improve the situation um yeah or find out which um, devices are slowing down your internet sometimes it's just uh, maybe an old device or a, a device I mean sometimes you have in your household when you have a lot of people you could be that some somebody caught a virus or something like that could also be a problem or old devices or uh, devices with malfunction or whatsoever so it, sometimes it's really difficult to find out I can't give you a general device on that just uh, yeah advice on that just some basic hints of course but uh yeah i just wanted to let you know about this speedify thing maybe if you have in this situation maybe it helps for you maybe not would be really interesting to know if you're trying or if you tried that if it worked for you or not just leave a feedback in the comment area uh, or comment in the feedback area i think it's more like that <laughs> and anyway if you have any questions or comments just uh, leave anything down below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time